a few weeks ago I reviewed the Starship 4000, the future Starship 4000, which I didn't know at the time is actually a special edition. I don't know what the normal edition looks like, but there we are. Uh, really great battery pack. You can check out the video that I've done first. I'll put a card on the screen here and I'll also link it to the end, at the end of the video and in the description. Um, but to get the best out of this, they recommended obviously that you use their Aoyohi <laughs> uh, cable set. And again, I've done a video about this cable set and you can get, I'll put that link here or at the end of the video and in the description. But today I'm gonna to take a look at their latest offering that's the future, what do they call it? The future racing cable set. So let's unbox it. Hey there everyone, Mark from The Spark here. Good to have you with me again as we unbox this and I tell you a little bit about what it can do. Okay, so let's get this thing cracked open without any further ado. Sharp fingernails always help. Might be able to see that a little bit better now. And they have this kind of black theme that goes on. You can barely read it unless you get it in the um, light, right light, shall we say. All right, okay. So just to recap on what this does. So as you can see, it is a extendable um, charging set. So you can plug things in, screw them tight. And it goes from, I think these short pieces here, are nine centimeters. So you got USB-C to lightning, and then you've also got in left in here, a USB to USB-C, and then you've got an extension cable here, and that extension cable, I think it's about 80 centimeters, something like that. Uh, and then this spring cable here, that goes up to about 170 centimeters. All together, uh, if you plug them all in that you need, the little extension, the extension and the spring, that goes up to about 260 centimetres, 2.6 metres. I don't know what that is in feet, I'll let you work that out. Um, and there we are, so that's that's that. If using a charger that's capable of quick charge, it'll support quick charge. It's got a programmable power supply within these bits here. So if the charger supports programmable power supply, uh, which is just a fancy way of saying it, it knows what power is needed and when, when to kind of slow off, when to give you more power, when to trickle charge, all that kind of stuff. It supports that as well. Uh, it supports PD 3.1, PD 3.0. Um, 3.0 gives you 45 to 100 watts, um, which is capable of charging laptops, um, iPads, and some displays, etc. 3.1 gives you that 240 watt output so if you're using an appropriate charger these things will enable you to charge things up to 240 watts and so you're talking like power hungry devices like gaming laptops so like i say a charger with all those standards this cable set could charge a macbook up to about 75 percent in only 30 minutes which is pretty darn good all right okay let's get this thing opened up so this is the racing cable set. Not quite sure why they called it that. Maybe there's a racing vibe too, but you definitely still got the, the rocket ship um, kind of <laughs> thing going on here. Um, and what do you get? So you've got a 13 centimeter, I think this is, USB-C to USB-C. You've got another 13 centimeter USB-A to USB-C. So you've got those two things there. And then in here, you've got the extension cable. Now you can probably tell, and hopefully you can tell from the video, these aren't braided like these were. I chose the Kevlar and nylon braided set just because I think they look really cool. There's not an option for these, so you do get that kind of smoother, more durable rubber feeling on these. Uh, this is, let me just check my facts. Now this is about 87 centimeters, I think. Think. Let's check. Yep. So if you put this extension cable together with your uh, appropriate end, if you like, you get a meter uh, connection here. Let's plug that in there. And that's just simply plugs in and has a nice little click at the end and you know that you are secure. Unlike this one where you plugged it in and then it made it more secure by you could twist that 
and that was not going out anywhere. This, they're going for a much simpler kind of firm locking mechanism on there. So there we go. And then what else do you get in here? So you get a case as well. I'm not a big fan of these cases. I don't like this case. I mean, I don't know how else you would do it. Maybe a hard case might be nice, but I find it a struggle to kind of get these things. Where's my, here we go, it's falling on the floor. Ugh. You kind of got to fumble around a little bit, open that up and get, I just, I just don't like it. I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. I just don't like it. Maybe this might feel a little bit better, a bit firmer to get those things in there. So what can you do with this? Well, it says here you can do up to 240 watt fast charging as you can with this thing here. 40 gigabits per second high speed transmission and it can also support up to 8K resolution. So any decent monitors that you've got that support 8K be able to use it up to that as well. So within here you've got some special chips that help regulate uh, what you are using and again together with the appropriate charger your your device is not in any danger uh, of being overheated or overcharged or anything like that that's what they say anyway okay well let's just get some of these things plugged in and see what it looks like got my ipad here and let's use the starship to get these things plugged in so I'll plug in my USB-C to USB-C. Obviously you can do it either way, it doesn't matter. It's USB-C after all. Plug it into there and then plug this into the bottom here. And let's see, okay, so we have got an amber breathing notification here. That means that's charging at the quickest rate that you can charge this device at. Uh, amber breathing is up to 240 watts and then if it's blue it's just a standard charge and then if it's green it means it's trickle charging so it's reaching the end of its charging point it just needs to keep it topped up as it were so there we go using those stats that you can find on the website that this ipad then should charge from flat to about 75 percent in around 30 minutes if not a little bit quicker because macbooks uh, have larger batteries so maybe a little bit quicker on this one it doesn't specifically say on the website there we are so that's really good they do feel good um, they feel very robust they don't feel like anything's going to happen here even though that looks a bit strange here with this kind of gap around it um, looks pretty robust I don't feel they're going to fray or do anything like that that's not going to pull away really well manufactured and to be honest I've not had any issues with these cables um, I've really enjoyed using them um, and they've, they've done the job remarkably well but I do like the fact that these can do data as well as charging and that's the main selling point for this. Do I wish this was a little bit longer? Yeah, I do actually, because when you're in a coffee shop, sometimes the plug is quite far under the table. Yeah, it could be, it could be. But then again, you know, if you use it in combination with this, then hey -ho, you're all right. Maybe you <laughs> keep this charged up with this on this side, and then on this side, you charge up from your from this device here. Um, so there we are. Uh, those two videos that I talked about where I talk about this and I talk about this, you will find here, hopefully. And until the next time, happy charging.